Hello and welcome to another video. This video is about Xcode and specifically just to let you know where you can find a nice calendar control for your iPhone and iPads application. Uh, this is the, the calendar that I'm just showing you, sharing everybody. Uh, what a nice uh, control this <coughs> was done. So as you can see it has the next month, previous month and the day just a, like a calendar and it has this uh, nice uh, effect and it has the option that you can click and drag a few uh, items or like this one this is not selecting a range it's just selecting one and now I'm gonna show you the code now this is something that I downloaded I haven't created this myself it's somebody else <clears throat> but as you can see it has an event like when you click on this date, you have an event that is it's triggered. So 30, 31, and so on. Now when you click, when it goes to the next month, it does show you the year and month. And those details are really helpful depending on what you're doing. Now the code that I got this one from, uh, it's from here DSL calendar view and the author is Pete C so looks like he's been working on this the last six months it's saying here last commitment and there's the control that he made so it's really helpful uh, for the amps and there's a lot of things I guess you can customize and the good thing on this one is that is it is using the R ARC <clears throat> uh, Xcode 5 is using ARC and I know other controls out there do not use ARC uh, this one is easy because there's nothing else that, that you need to do so just download a zip file and open up uh, this uh, project DSL calendar view example and under that I mean then you can run it. <clears throat> now right now this one is not allowing you to select a wrench but you can modify that. I'm going to I think that option is somewhere in here. If you go to calendar did drag today it's set to yes but if you hit no if you set it to no and run this guy again even running let me pause and let me just quit this guy completely and I'm gonna start all over there we go so now I should be able to highlight a, a range so as you can see in the console the log we have from the 21st to all the way to the 24th that's what we have so now 31 now it's giving you an order it's not doing 31 and then to 28 it's doing 28 range to 31 which is good so that's all this video is gonna cover basically just sharing you this control I haven't used it yet on a real application but I just found it and I think a lot of you might be looking for one of these controls so make sure you go to this uh, github <clears throat> you go to the URL that you see I um, hope you can see this video when I'm zooming in that's the URL that you need to go to find this uh, nice calendar for the iOS okay thank you for watching